First things first. Eats and drinks. Yeah, get the medical supplies back. Oh, we had this other... Oh, we had so many things. Um, where's Tucker? Damn note. Jackson seems in wolves in the area and last week Emily saw... She saw a bear skulking around the camp. I'm not convinced it wasn't those briar house thug trying to scare us off. Keep the flare gun handy. We do have a flare gun. Lily's trunk key. Wait, this is like old stuff. Maybe I just never clicked on those things. Radio parts. I hope that's all we need. I really hope because there was other stuff on there, but I couldn't. I couldn't use it. Okay. So we are good on drink. And let's eat. Uh, let's eat a chocolate bar. And hopefully it's not so windy. All right, we've got to follow the train tracks all the way back and then cut across. So it's nice, clear day. Hopefully there's no mean old bear. My ankles are probably glad too that there's a, not a big steep hill. What What is my inventory weight? Oh, I still got to drop a bunch of stuff. But you know what? It's, it's hard to validate dropping. Oh, I can drop that. It's hard to validate dropping some of this other stuff. I mean, this is good fire stuff, right? So when I get too cold and I need a fire, I will burn some books. But uh, for now, let's just slowly make our way. Like I said, we've got to go all the way back across to get back to that trapper. I'd like to get back to them today, if I can get back to the trapper. So. Oh, is that a wolf? I'm so paranoid. Like, let's play this fun game. Is that a rock or is that a wolf? That's a wolf. Oh my god, <laughs> it's like right here. What do I have gun-wise? Oh, look at me. I must have got a lot more than I realized. Okay then. This is not ideal, but you know. If that uh, bear comes back, I can give it a shot or two. I suppose it can cut cross country a little bit because I know where I'm going. It's not as if the train track is a better day for walk. I've got a decent amount of food and water, so that's helpful. Did I ever set up snares? What is my snares? I don't have any snares. I must have set up snares. Well, I don't remember where they are. I don't think I can mark on my own map, right? Yeah. I have no idea where my snares are. I'll have to go back and watch a earlier video to see. Where I put the snares. That is the nice part about documenting all this, is that I can go back and see what I was supposed to be doing. Maybe I should start doing that to go free watch my previous adventure. Okay. Ah, that bear came out of nowhere. I was not expecting a bear. I mean, I was expecting the bear, but I wasn't expecting that cutscene. All right, I think we'll fast forward this part a little bit.
we're definitely getting the benefit of some nice clear weather. But like I said, I think I'm just going to head all the way back instead of stopping at the cabin because I'm warm enough and uh, have good food and water and I've got good energy. So that's what matters most. Right, we're just going to check over here. I wasn't sure if I put snares out over here. I know that there's some birds out here in the uh, survival version of Mystery Lake. Yep, I don't see him. Alright. Back to the train tracks we go. We're getting pretty close. I can almost start cutting through the deadfall area. I think I will go all the way down to the end here and see if I can cut through. The Forlorn Muskeg is the heck of a name, but that is this uh, train tunnel up here. Oh, there's Wolfie. Oh, I did hit him. Oh my gosh. Well, he's running really well for me having hit him. Maybe that'll be a surprise dead wolf for me later. Okay, now I feel kind of bad. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ducked around back and went zooming up the hill. Well. At least we know I can I can shoot straight. That's that was a uh, good to know. So that cache should be yeah, right. Right over here. It's so bonkers how every little thing I see I'm like, oh is that a wolf? Is that, what is that? We're like, right? Oh, the cache should be over here. It must be a little cave or something. Is that the cache? There you are. That'll come in handy. Okay. Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Oh, actually, maybe I can just cut through here. Oh, let's, let's set up a little fire here. And uh, we can cook up some peaches. Or something else. The fire starts. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, with the accelerant. <laughs> with the accelerant, it's pretty much a guarantee. Yeah, let's add a couple books. Okay. Cook. Let's cook the pork and beans. That'll fill us up. Yeah, that's that's good. Right, let's make some water too. Like that. That'll just run us out the rest of the water. Ah, there we go. Healed my sprain, got some nice tasty food, and now I just gotta cut across. And we still got good time. I'm worried about this part here. And now the wind's picking up. Of course it is. But I'm not a sprain risk anymore. So that's good. 
Oh, I think I finally learned <laughs> what that little symbol is when it appears at the top of the screen. Let's see if I can trigger it again. It looks like I should be able to chop this down, right? It's like a birch in the middle of nowhere. There we go, birch bark. Prepared birch bark. Okay, wait, what? I totally, that was totally by accident. I just was thinking, I'm playing this other game. What is it? Maniko's Night Market. And you go into the birch forest and uh, you get birch bark and you turn it into paper. I thought, man, I'm in a birch tree. I should be able to get something. It's like if there was willow trees, I'd go grab some willow bark. Oh, there's Miss Brain Risk. <laughs> of course. Okay, what is the birch bark even used for, though? That's the curious thing. Yeah, I just do not want to sprain risk with all these steep, steep hills. Okay. Oh, my warming up has expired. That's all right. We will be back at the trapper's cabin. He's going to show me some awesome hospitality. There's a part of me that wants to throw a bomb at that wall there because obviously that is meant for a bomb, right? To blow it up and reveal the hidden Great Fairy's Fountain or something. Okay, this is, these rocks here are like a little trail. There's something that's luring me. It's the bear. The bear came through and dropped these little rocks to lure me to my doom. It's like, yes, come come over here. And I'm like, haha. I'm not going to listen to you, big old mean bear. That's not the cabin, is it? Oh, see at the symbol at the top of the screen. That means I'm like shielded from the wind. Okay, that's not the cabin, but that's like a cool little outbuilding. Did I miss that coming through before? There's the cabin. What's in this little outbuilding? Maybe something cool. Maybe nothing. Yeah, nothing's in there. Maybe there was something and I took it. That's more likely. <laughs> All right, this is a nice little Nice little spot here. Okay. Well, let's get back to the trapper and we've got some scrap metal too, if we somehow need that. But we've got the, the uh, high test antibiotics. And hopefully that's enough. Looks like a nice door. Take it easy. You're pretty banged up. You're probably a bit delirious, too. I just gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while, but it'll help. And you're gonna need some time to recover. Time? <laughs> we don't have time. We need to get a message out. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> message? You mean to your friend? Asking for medical help? Never mind that. Help me up so I can look at the radio. Let's see if the parts you brought back are any good. That's a military shortwave, isn't it? Maybe. I know a bit about radios. It's not like any surplus I've ever seen. Damn it! Well, the parts look fine. So, whatever's wrong with the radio goes deeper than that. What could it be? Uh, something to do with the power. <laughs> Fuses. Transformers, maybe. We have bigger problems to deal with first. That bear's out there. Hunting us. 
He's a smart old bastard. He'll keep us from getting out, getting supplies, finding help. Eventually, he'll either get us or starve us out. I gotta lay down. Help me back to the bed. Thing. Probably a pretty good spot to stop. Thank you so much for tuning in to uh, watch me help bring this old man back from the brink. We get back next time. We'll talk bear surroundings and day, uh, and maybe we'll do a little work in the workbench. Thank you so much, everybody. Take care.